This video is sponsored by EA. Hey there fans of Battlefront and Star Wars! Welcome to Versus Mini, the bite-sized series where I take two characters and set them against each other in open combat. Today, we will pit Landau Calrissian, the galactic entrepreneur, against Bosk, the ruthless bounty hunter. For this video, I'll be observing these characters as they appear in canon, utilizing their achievements from the lore while focusing on their in-game abilities in Battlefront 2. We'll be observing Lando as he appears in Return of the Jedi and for Bosk up until his appearance in The Empire Strikes Back. With a disabler to mark his enemies and stun them, a smoke grenade to cover his approach, and a sharp shot that can finish them off, Lando is perfect for a stealth fight. Within the lore, Lando was always attracted to a life of gambling and smuggling, a life of deception. With such a life, criminal activities came along with it, and the perfect tool for a criminal was a decent blaster. In Battlefront 2, Lando uses an X8 Night Sniper, say that three times fast, with a secondary sharpshooter setting. While smuggling spices across the Hydean Way, or taking a risk on a new business venture, Lando was all about deception and opportunity. Lando's Night Sniper had a very conservative fire rate, especially for a blaster pistol, but the true benefit was its night vision capabilities, a vital pairing with Lando's smoke grenades. Like a tricky bluff in Sabacc, his disablers are perfect for a setup and then a finisher. Before his enemies know what hit them, before they knew his true intent, Lando lays in them with quick, sharpshooter shots, the perfect combination for the sly and smooth Calrissian. As a bounty hunter, Boss knows how to kill you in several ways. Prefer a slower death? He's got you covered with Dioxys grenades. Feeling a bit more explosive? He can surprise you with a few proximity mines. Maybe you're feeling a bit more primal. His predatory instincts might just be the thing to do you in. Within the lore, Bosk is one of the top bounty hunters in the conversation with the likes of Boba Fett and Dangar, though we specialize in killing Wookiees. Hmm, maybe that might lend itself to another versus matchup. Bosk was a bit more primitive than his other bounty hunter contemporaries. Sure, he used a Relby V10 targeting rifle, outfitted with a barrage and a scope, but he used it with a predator's instinct, allowing him to see an infrared, perfect for getting around environments with thick foliage or smoke screens. Bosk was also a bit of a sadist. It wasn't enough to just simply kill his targets. He needed to watch them suffer, which is why his use of Dyax's grenades makes a lot of sense for him. So let's compare Lando and Bosk. First, let's look at their primary weapons, their Night Sniper and their Relby V10. For this, I'm going to have to side with Bosk. Even though Lando has his advantage with his night scope, Bosch can do this indefinitely with his predator's instinct. His species can see in infrared, so it doesn't really matter that Lando has that advantage. And Bosch has him beat with the mid and long range, especially with his Relby being outfitted with a scope and with the barrage. So next, let's look at Lando's disabler against Bosch proximity mines. For this, I would actually side with Lando as his disabler can stop Bosch in his tracks. If he's being chased down by Bosch, like whether down a corridor or, you know, in the middle of a forest, he can stop him, and if he stops him indefinitely, uh, Bosch can be opened up to Lando's attacks. The proximity mines of Bosk are effective, of course, and if Lando ends up tripping up on one of them, he definitely will be out of the game. But Lando's more active use of a disabler, I feel, has more of an advantage. So then we have Lando's smoke grenades, which is an amazing ability on its own, especially if you're fighting against a horde of enemies who are best subverted by a stealth tactic. Now, the issue with this is that Bosch would not be affected by this at all. His predator instinct, his natural infrared sight, would see right through any kind of smoke screen Lando would put up. So if a scenario went down where Lando throws down a smoke grenade in front of Bosch, it really wouldn't do him much good because Bosch would just turn on his predator's instinct, see through it, and still be able to attack Lando effectively. So for this, Bosch definitely gets the edge as he is not affected by the smoke grenades in the least bit. And overall, I definitely side with Bosk, not only for the in-game abilities, which I think stack up very, very well against Lando in particular. I think it's actually a bad matchup for Lando if he ever sees uh, Bosk on the battlefield. Uh, Lando's best tactic is to use his disablers uh, to run away from Bosk as, as, as much as he can. Uh, Bosch has too much firepower with his barrage, with his Relby uh, V10, and his scoped rifle. And within the lore, it also makes sense that Bosch would uh, take this matchup against Lando. Lando, much like Han Solo, is, you know, a smuggler. He gets into firefights and he knows how to handle himself, but he's not a seasoned bounty hunter. Bosch lives for this kind of stuff. He lives for killing people, for targeting people, for, for hunting people. And when that's your livelihood, when you're fighting against someone who isn't particularly specialized in that, you know, combat scenario, uh, you're definitely going to be favored in almost all situations. So it's pretty definitive for me. I think Bosch would definitely take the win over Landau Calrissian and would be the most likely victor in this matchup. 
Of course, this is all my opinion based on the lore of Star Wars and the gameplay mechanics of Battlefront 2. Do you agree that Bosk would take a majority victory, or do you believe the Galactic Entrepreneur is the most likely victor? Let me know in the comments below, or vote in the top right corner. And of course, peace, love, and may the Force be with you. Always.